My name is Nawal Al-Makhafi and I'm a journalist and reporter living here in the UK. I'm originally Yemeni and so naturally I've been following Yemen's war very closely since the very beginning. Um, I actually spent a few years in Yemen when I was growing up and so it's really heartbreaking to see the pain and the sorrow that my fellow Yemenis have had to live through um, in the last 18 months. Um, a couple of months into the war last year, I went to Yemen to cover the conflict. And what really struck me is the bravery of the people having to live under that constant bombardment and shelling constantly. Um, you know, the, the bombing is happening. Both sides are culpable of war crimes and atrocities. Um, but at the end of the day, it is the Saudi-led coalition that the UK and the US is supporting. At that, in that trip, I saw factories that had been bombed, schools that had been bombed, um, hospitals that had been bombed. It was a really, really difficult experience for myself to see my country go through this. Um, only a few days ago, I came back to London from my most current trip to Yemen. And this time, it wasn't the bombardment that was difficult to see, even though I did see another hospital that was bombed, another school that was bombed. It was more the fact it was more the humanitarian crisis. The humanitarian situation in Yemen is now catastrophic. People that were middle class are now poor. And people that were poor are now starving. I'm already worried about the next time I go to Yemen because I have no idea what the future holds for Yemen if this war continues. I am urging all those that are involved to, to go into diplomatic negotiations with a pure with pure intentions, because the Yemeni people have suffered enough and it's time that this conflict ends. Thank you.